welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have today some of my Amazon must have travel items and a fresh coffee in my Hello Pumpkin mug. Whatever. It's it's a rainy gloomy day. So as you all know, I'm going on multiple trips this year, or if you don't know, I'm going on multiple trips this year and I've been collecting my Amazon favorites. So let's get into it. First and foremost, in the description box below this video, there's a little arrow thingy that looks like that. If you hit that button, it'll drop you down to the description box and there's links to all of my items that I'm going to show you. And the very first link, it's a big one, goes to my storefront and that has everything in there that I have ordered for travel recently. And it's all in there in one spot. But if you're just looking for one item that I show you, there's an individual link. Um, for full transparency, I do get a little bit of a kickback from it. It doesn't cost you any more. It just supports the channel. So this is going to be a travel, travel series, series. So let's start with some of the doodahs. First and foremost is this. This case here is an electronic travel case. So what you do or what goes in here are all of your electronics, your cords, your charging bricks, all that kind of stuff can go in these compartments. Um, I did get this on Amazon. I love it. It's like um, canvas almost. This is the navy blue. Now, if you can see, I'm busting out the seams. The other thing I'm going to keep in here are my travel chargers. So this is a small one. This was just a gift that I got. I don't even know how many ampules this is or whatever it's called. But what I like about this one is it's self-contained. So I pull this little... Oops, I pull this little cord out and then I can punch it down in here and it has an adapter for my iPad. I mean for my iPhone because I have the older iPhone, it's a 14. So this would be something that I would carry in my purse with me if I'm traveling and I just need to top off my phone. Now I've got the big boy here. This is an anchor charging brick. This is a 20, 20, power core is 20,100. This is a serious charging brick. It's also very heavy. I would not necessarily carry this around if I'm walking around a major city. I actually bought this to keep my light going when I'm at cross stitching retreats because I can plug in to the bottom. It charges up, it will, it, this brick here has kept a light going for me for multiple days. It will charge my phone multiple times. It will charge multiple people's phones. It will even keep my MacBook running if I need it to. It will keep my iPad running. That's what this is for. This is not a throw in my purse. But if you're going somewhere that you think you're going to need some power, I highly recommend the Anchor brand. And they also have smaller ones, maybe like a five or a 10,000 instead of the 20,100. But for my purposes, I needed something large. It probably will not live in here, but it will live in my backpack because you cannot check these batteries into the belly of the airplane. They have to be in your carry-on luggage. That's just a little aside. Um, because they're a fire hazard. So you have to carry this on board. So for right now, everything fits in here. We'll see. So this is my electronics bag and my charging brick. So that's two items. Let's keep track, shall we? That's two. On that same vein, number three, this little fun thing, it looks like a teddy bear, is a multi-purpose, multi-use situation. It is a personal fan. And if you're in the season of life where you need a personal fan, this is fantastic. It has multiple speeds. There's two speeds. I haven't charged this and I can't tell you how long, but it's more than that. And it's also safe. If you put your finger in there, it stops. But it's also a flashlight, right? You hold it and it's a flashlight. It's also a charging brick. So you can keep, if you charge this up, 
You can use it to charge your cell phone. You can use it for a fan if you're out and about and you can use it as a flashlight. I love a multi-purpose tool and this is it for me. I've actually brought it with me to a hotel and it will sit upright like this. And then I just had it next to my bed just to keep some air moving because I get warm. So this is fantastic. It does not weigh a lot. It's very unassuming. It's small and it goes right in a carry-on bag. And I will carry this with me when I'm out and about touring if I'm over in Europe because it's a multi-purpose tool and it also can top off my phone if I get into an emergency. Speaking about walking around in Europe, when I was in London, I kept with me my... Um, my charger and a cord because any restaurant I went to people were just plugging in wherever so that's an option as well but I didn't that did not make me comfortable I made it work but now I know all right so that's three number four why we're on the topic of electronics this is an Apple air tag if you have an iPhone or Apple products you can use an air tag it looks like this by itself. It's a tracking device. You put it, there will be an app for it in your Apple store and you put it in your luggage, put it in your purse, you put it wherever. Heck, they even sell bracelets or watches for children to put this in. You can put it in their shoe, but it's a tracking device. And for travel purposes, this will be going into my um, suitcase. And then I can track where my suitcase is at all times. And then when I get to my destination, I'll toss it in my purse. Um, it does, this little case did not come with it. I ordered this on Amazon as well. It was like five bucks. There's all different ones, but I liked that I could hook this one in there. It's just a little silicone case. Now I do have the link. Oh, I didn't like that. Hold on. Let me fix it while I tell you. I did link for you the individual AirTag, but you can 100% um, get them if you have multiple people traveling or if you want multiple things marked. A four pack I think is $80 or something. So it's definitely less expensive, I fixed it, less expensive to have it in a four pack and I should have, but I just wanted to try it. That's four things, okay. On the same vein, we have adapters. Now, I have a better one. I just haven't put my finger on it just yet. But these are travel adapters. So what they do is they adapt a U.S. plug to the local plug where you're going. So you see how that looks different than ours? You would plug that into the wall and you would plug your U.S. into it to charge things. Here is the thing when you're traveling international. You have to know what charging power you're doing. You cannot take a hair dryer, a curling iron, a flat iron to a foreign country and plug it in with an adapter. You will blow up your products. Electronic items, cell phones, tablets, computers are all okay because they are regulated for that. Your hair dryer, your curling iron, your iron, your steamer, they are not and you run the risk of a causing a fire or blowing up your stuff. This is an adapter. If you want to bring something that you need to convert the electricity, you bring a converter. I will put a picture up here of the one that I have. It is a universal, every country in the world, there's some USB plugs and some US plugs. This is strictly, I think, for the UK or that region. I think I use these in Scotland and England. So these are handy to have. But if you're going to buy some, I would say just get the universal and you're good for wherever you go. I had already had these and then I upgraded. So that is number five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Am I gonna have to count every time? Maybe, five. Uh, and then the last, I think, electronic item. In my back? I think I froze, that was weird. Um, I was talking about a travel scale. So what this does, you put it through your luggage and you pull it up and here at the top, it will give you how many pounds, but it also does um, kilograms and it does your local temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is why I like this one. And it just operates on a little battery over here. These are fantastic because a lot of airlines have weight restrictions. I travel with this, 
so that I don't have any surprises when I get to the airport. When I leave, I weigh my product, my um, items, and these are surprisingly very accurate. So that was number one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's do number seven. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to, let's put that over here with the other bags. We are not there yet. Um, I grabbed these at the Dollar Tree and they will also be in a Dollar Tree one I'm gonna do, but I grabbed these. I showed them in a haul, but my idea is to bring this along in case my sink or tub is not big enough and I need to hand wash something. Also, I can put my dirty laundry in here, but these open up pretty big and if I need to, wash something i have this bag it doesn't weigh anything it doesn't take up any room they they're actually uh, marinating bags from the dollar tree but these are from my dollar tree haul and i will have those in a future dollar tree travel item part of my series okay um one thing i always travel with is downy wrinkle release um, so here's the deal. This little bottle is $2. What I'm going to do future wise is buy the big bottle and just keep refilling this one. I like the wrinkle release. It freshens your clothes. It also acts as a static guard. So if you are staticky, um, you're somewhere that it's cold and the heat's on, you have sweaters, you can spray this static, um, wrinkle release and it will help with some static as well. So I like this. I travel with it. It works very well. It is three fluid ounces, so I could carry this on, but typically this will go in with my checked luggage. I'm done counting, so I'll, there'll be a number somewhere. Um, also for toiletries, these come in a one pack, a two pack, a five pack, I think a 10 pack. But what this is, is, let me open it. It is a perfume, a travel perfume container. So you take it apart, I'm sorry, this one does not come apart. You take the lid off of your perfume bottle, like the spray part. You remove this nozzle part off your perfume bottle. You push it on there and you push it, pump it, and it fills this little reservoir with your favorite perfume. And now you can travel with your favorite scent. And it's a small amount. I got a two pack. Um, here's the one thing I will say, you kind of really, if you have a lot of different perfumes like me, you need to remember which one is which, so you're not refilling the wrong one. Probably what I will do is get a label and put it on the back and just put what perfume is in it. And maybe some come with it. This one did not, but it was just a little two pack. The other thing I like to do for perfume is I like to go and get samples, but some, some of the beauty counters are getting stingy with their samples. Um, I did just make an order from Sephora and it came with two little samples. And last year I went with two of that size to for a week and I had plenty of perfume. So it just depends what you like, but this is good. If you like a very specific perfume, you can also use this for, um, you know, like your body sprays and stuff. So just a handy little perfume travel item. Um, all right, here's a couple things while we're talking. Oh, here, this one's do this one for sure. Right in my, I have some other stuff, but for now, tied to go. 100% yes, keep a tied to go with you wherever you go. I keep one in my purse. I drink a lot of coffee, obviously, and I spill coffee driplets on me. And this is fantastic. It gets your stain before it becomes a stain, especially if you're traveling and you're hand washing stuff. If you pre-treat with a little Tide to Go stick, it makes it much easier when you're doing your laundry. Uh, this is 0.33 fluid ounce. It can go in your travel liquid item. So we got that, which I love. I don't leave home without that. And I also have, and I don't know what I did with it. I think I put it in the wrong container. Let me grab it up while we're talking about that. Tide soap suds. These are sink suds. These are, I'll open it up, little sink packets of soap. It is liquid and it's like, I don't even know, 0.15 fluid ounce. I would say it's less than a tablespoon and it's enough to fill your sink with some Tide detergent and wash your laundry. You could pack a Tide pod, but that's an awful lot for a sink, but you can do it. And I just picked up a pack and it came with three. The other thing is um, you can use if you don't want to buy these or if you use 
uh, laundry sheets, the solid. You can cut them up and just throw them in a little zip bag. They take up no room, no room, and you can wash till your heart's content in the sink. Um, while we're in the bathroom, I got this. This is a Venus Mini. If you have not seen these, they are everything. I can get it open, which I can. Um, you know, you gotta take razors with you when you go on vacation, especially depending on how long you're gonna be. What I love about this little razor is it is tiny, but a couple things. Number one, the razor head is a standard size Venus razor head. So this is totally reusable. Just buy new heads for it. The container has air holes in the back, so it will dry out and you're not gonna get rust or weirdness. Um, yeah, it's perfect. It's a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie. I think this was $10 on Amazon and I think I saw them for $9.99 at Target. Watch your coupons if you don't wanna order from Amazon, but it just is the perfect little travel accessory that will get you through a week. If you're a heavy shaver and you need to bring an extra blade, I'm, I think you can probably slip an extra blade in this container and then you would have two. Um, but yeah, I love this and I always travel with one because it's important for me. Um, where are we at? Oh, medicine. I picked up one of these. I jumped on the bandwagon. I've seen everybody hauling them. I have not tried it yet, but it is a little pill holder organizer, but it doesn't have, and it does come with this little thing to help you open it. So yes, this, these little containers here will hold, and they're separated, will hold ibuprofen, Sudafed, Dramamine, anti-diarrheal medicine, but think earrings, rings. You could have your daily medicine. There are two, four, six, seven, eight compartments and you can put whatever you want. This little dealie does help you open them up and they snap shut, which I like. So you're not gonna have things spilling all about. And then it's pretty low profile. And this will go right in my backpack because I travel with medicine because I'm an old lady. Um, speaking of, the Dramamine. I do not leave home without Dramamine. As I've gotten older, I have become more dependent on the Dramamine. I get motion sick like nobody's business. And this helps me immensely. I get the non or the less drowsy 20, it works up to 24 hours. And like on a cruise, I just put one with my nightly medicine and I take one every day without fail. Um, just keeps me from getting motion sick. I don't know what brings it on, but I definitely know if I'm a passenger, I get motion sick. So I figure it's not gonna hurt me. I take one when I fly. I take one when I'm on the subway and when I'm traveling and I'm gonna be doing a lot of public transporting. Mm. Dramamine is my friend. And they come in these neat little, if you're not gonna bring like a pill holder and you can get them in different variety of containers, but I like this one because it keeps them together it's a child safe thing and it they're stored i should have eight in here one two three four five six. oh this one only came with seven i got affected with the shrinking shouldn't this have eight yeah i was robbed nope there's eight um, but there's enough room in here that I'm going to combine two to get combined two together to keep in my purse. And then when I travel, I will put them in here and they're nice and yellow. So I know what they are. Um, just be aware if you're traveling with children, keep your eye on this. It's not candy. Um, speaking of children, they do have children's Dramamine that's chewable, which I've also used and it works just fine. Okay. Let's get into, on this front, let's talk about medicine. I did mention anti-diarrheal, and the, it is a reality, guys, that when we travel, there's a chance that we're going to, A, get on, get some water. That's what's pulling it down. I was tugging my cord. We're going to drink or eat something that is definitely disrupting our digestive system. Even if the water is perfectly safe to drink, it is different than our water. You have to just keep that in mind. 
that there's different microbes that are safe, but they're different and everybody's body reacts differently. So I'm not saying don't drink the water. I'm just saying be prepared. And part of my preparation is um, I bring some type of hydrating packet. Element, I bring Gatorade. This I'm gonna try, which is um, sugar-free liquid IV electrolyte drink mix. Just something that if you get the stomach ick, and you're at your hotel and you need something, this is great to have. It's, you know, it doesn't, let me show you what they are. I hadn't opened them yet because I wanted to show you, but I'm gonna be trying these out this summer. So these are a little larger packet than, a, than like a Crystal Light. Gatorade has them in sugar-free and regular. Um, I need sugar-free, so I got the sugar-free, but Liquid IV comes in a variety of flavors and different formulas. This one is just for um, electrolytes. And the flavor is white peach. I saw white grape, no green grape at my grocery, or at my Target and lemon lime, but I'm not a fan of lemon lime. And I just feel like I don't like it on a good day. I probably wouldn't like it if I was sick to my stomach. So I keep these with me all the time, but if you don't keep these with you all the time, I would recommend getting something. And if you're traveling with children, they do sell the children's version, like a Pedialyte in a powder pack, just in case. Keep it in your first aid kit in case somebody gets sick. And I will tell you what happened to me when I went to um, Scotland. I don't know what happened. I don't know what it was. I didn't feel sick. I didn't have a virus, but I had very bad stomach distress. And I did not have with me what I needed. And I couldn't find sugar-free Gatorade and stuff. I ended up having to drink like Coke light and it was fine. I was fine. Everything was fine, but I would have preferred to have been able to rehydrate my body. Uh, just a little tangent, but if you're not, if you haven't had it, you haven't had it. Okay. On the cleaning front, we're going to try this. This is Coleman, the camping brand here in the States. Soap sheets. These are Coleman camp soap sheets. There are 50 in here. I got this because it's for dishes and hands. Dishes and hands. So I think it doesn't have something in it that your typical hand soap would. I'm assuming. We're going to smell them up. Yeah, there's no perfume. There's no scent to them whatsoever. Which I think is what makes them good for dishes. Because soap is soap. But I feel like what Danny, you know, the difference between your hand soap and your dish soap is moisturizers in your hand soap and smelly good stuff. And you don't want to use it on your dishes. But when I'm traveling, I want to be able to wash my cups, wash my straws and things like that. And so I pick these up. I'm going to give them a try before I go just to see how much it works, you know, how well it works. Um, but you get 50 soap sheets in here. Now I will tell you also, there's nothing worse than going to a bathroom or going somewhere and they don't have soap to wash your hands. And everybody that I know is like, yeah, but I've got hand sanitizer with me. Well, here's a fun little fact. The norovirus is not killed from alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Who knew? I didn't know until like last week when I was reading an article uh, because there's an there's right now a surge in the norovirus going around the United States. And there was a doctor who was like, yeah, that, that it doesn't work with the hand sanitizer, the alcohol base. You have to use soap and water and you have to wash your hands vigorously for at least 30 seconds to kill the norovirus. And if you don't know what that is, that's the um, poop, poopy, throwy epi virus that lives on surfaces for up to four weeks. And the, this is what's going to help save us from throwing up. So there you go. Tangent number 473. But I'm going to try these because when I travel, I want to be able to wash, like I said. And I didn't want to carry dish soap with me. Now, here's the thing. You got to take one out before you get your hands wet or they'll all stick together. And I will probably keep these in a little zip top bag just so moisture doesn't get to them because that's the unfortunate part with a sheet of soap is as soon as one gets wet, if any moisture gets in here, they're all ruined or at least it becomes one solid chunk. So we're going to try them and they were only like $5. So travel soap. Travel toiletry bottles 
you know, are a game changer for a lot of us. I bought these to show you, but honestly, I'll tell you what I'm doing. But these are just, like this one is nice, a little travel bottle, but you can't squeeze it. So I don't know what good that's going to do me. Um, this one here is nice because it has, it's for like more liquidy type stuff. But again, I mean, you can decant and I highly recommend decanting from larger into smaller, but something hard like this is not your answer. You definitely want something that is silicone based that you can squeeze your product out. Um, this was just at the dollar spot in Target. I will use this one here, this little one. What I will do is, which I do like that it comes with this little lid to keep, if you put like cold cream, I'm going to melt some Vaseline, just plain old Vaseline and fill this. I use it for a million things while I'm traveling, um, from moisturizing to if I get a blister, or whatever. Vaseline is great to have and a little pot of it this big is good and I have a big jar so I'll do that so yay on the travel size containers nay on the ones like this that are like hard because I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with these I mean I guess I could put like a toner in here something very liquidy a micellar or a toner or something could work in these containers so there you go there's something you can do with these but I would say you really want to spend a little bit of money on a, a decent brand of those now, um, I showed you these in my Marshalls haul, but these are travel bags, which I swear by these. These little tiny ones can be for pills, they can be for jewelry, they can be for anything. You have little vitamins, and then it has like your quart size, and then your larger. Things that I think are going to spill or make a mess go in a zip bag. That's just how life is. That's how it works in my house. Um, you, you all do you, and I just like these because they were cute. Do I need printed with strawberries and pears and peaches? No. Did I want them? Yes. So I did link down below a different uh, Ziploc has their own brand of these because obviously I can't link these. So we have that. Now, um, also got these at Marshall's, but I linked some down below. These are the true, oh, scared me. Somebody just delivered me a package. I don't know what it is. Um, compression bags. You fill them up and you roll. I can't open this for you because I, I think I need scissors. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, wait. Maybe. These I purchased at Marshall's. I also, they were $6.99, but you can get, oh, look, I can't open it. I'm great. Let's see how big they are. So I think these are a decent, yeah, this is a fair, these are large. <laughs> That's a fairly big size bag. But what you do is you put your items in them and then you roll it up and the air goes out, but it can't come back in. And it compresses, it compresses them down. And I'm gonna try them this year. If anything, for my dirty clothes when I come home. So I got a pack that has two. But be careful of weight because it does make it so you have more room to pack. But I won't use them on my weekend trip that I have coming up, but I will 100% try them out on my trip to Ireland. So it comes with a two pack. You can order them online, like I said, and have a myriad of different shapes and sizes. Um, Let's, I'm going to do some safety items last. I have some safety items that I picked up. We'll do those last. If you are going on a cruise, on a cruise ship, most ships have metal walls. And you're going to want hooks. These are magnetic. I don't want to take them apart, but they're magnetic hooks. And the hook part screws into a little circle. So you have the hook. They'll stick to your wall. You And these are, I think, 80 pounds. It's a six pack and I think they go up to 80 pounds, yeah. You can, I don't think I can even open this, can I? Maybe, maybe, but you can hold, it can hang your backpack, your hats, your lanyard. You can use them in, oh, I tried to open this. You can use it in the bathroom to hang your medicine bag or your toiletries. I can't get this open. Ah, oh, it's stapled. Okay, anyway, you get, you get the idea. 
there's a circle that sticks to your wall and a hook screws in there. You definitely want a, you want between, I would say 50 and a hundred pounds. I wouldn't go any higher than that. Or you're going to have a hard time getting them off the wall. Um, because that's how much pressure they'll hold. But I would say you need some magnets. The other thing that you'll want if you're going on a cruise specifically are these cruise luggage tags. This size here is for Royal Caribbean and that's the next ship that I'm going on. Carnival is a little fatter. So I would look at your brand of ship and then get the coordinating sizes. But what you do if you've never been on a cruise is you put your when you before you go you have to print your luggage tag and your luggage tag is for when you get to the pier and you turn over your luggage they'll deliver it to your cabin so instead of taping it on you slide it down in here this one has like a zip top and then they have these little metal rings and you hook it to your luggage so they don't get ripped off torn up wet ruined and then your luggage gets lost these are reusable over and over and over again, depending on your cruise line. I already have some Carnival ones, so I picked up for Royal Caribbean. I got a five pack because there's five of us going and I can't imagine we'll all have more than one checked luggage. But you don't want to put those tags on before you leave for the airport. You want to put them on right when you get to the port where you're going to get on the ship and you turn over your luggage. That's when you put these on. Okay. Now, we have a couple other items. I'm just making some space here. Um, I grabbed this bag, I did, or this dress. I did a shorts on it, a video. I ordered it in black, or in blue. It came in black, but I liked it so much that I just ordered it in blue. I'll stand it up. It's just a cotton, but it's not cotton, it's polyester, but it feels like a cotton dress with an elastic waist. This has been wadded up. And look it, it's not that wrinkly. It, they, they'll hang right out. Um, it was like $16 on Amazon. I linked it down below. Check out my video, that short that I made if you wanna see me wearing it. But the point is comfy clothes. Having something comfortable that I can pack up real small, it's not gonna wrinkle. It's fantastic for travel. Ah, one other item. And I just saw these at Target in the dollar spot, two for a dollar. They are hangers. They're portable hangers. You put them in your luggage. I can hang my dress up. Depending where you're going, they may not have enough hangers for you. If you have children, you fold them that size. For adults, you open them up. And tank tops, sundresses, bathing suits hang up to dry. I always have a couple of these in my luggage. And I don't bring a lot. I bring like one or two because I will need them in my, in my room, hotel room or wherever. And you never get enough hangers to hang those wrinkles out when you're spraying them with your wrinkle release. Right, right. Okay. Um, this is not on Amazon, but a water bottle. Everybody needs a water bottle to travel. This is a double walled. I got this on clearance at TJ Maxx for like $15. This happens to be a hydro flask, but I like the metal double walled ones. It's with straw, without a straw. They don't sweat. When you put cold liquids in a plastic bottle, they sweat and then everything gets wet that's around it. This will keep your hot drinks hot, cold drinks cold, and it fits. I got a small enough one that fits here. Most places you go nowadays have some type of water filtration at the airport. You go through with it empty, you fill it on the other side. You got to drink a lot of water when you're flying or you're going to get bad jet lag. Okay. I got a new backpack. So this summer when I go to Ireland, I'm also going over to England and I'm flying Ryanair. Ryanair has a very strict personal item limit, 15 inches by something by something. My backpacks were too big. So I got this. This brand is Love Vuk. I can do a whole review on this if you would like after I use it. What I like, it has water bottle holders on both sides. This one also has where I can put my charging brick, plug it in, and then I can plug my phone in. I will say that's not a killer kill for me, but it's nice. What is that I really wanted for is this. This is called a trolley strap. You can slide this on your luggage and on the handle while you're pulling it around and then it, it won't fall over. 
that was that was something I really wanted. Padded straps are fantastic. And this was the other reason I really liked it. It has metal on the top to open it up wide so I can see everything that goes down in there and organize it to my little heart's content. And the print on the inside is super cute. There's all kinds. I think this one came with 15 different pockets and compartments. The other reason that I really wanted this specific backpack or one like it. Now we're getting into safety. I'm going to Rome in the next year and pickpocketing is a real thing. So this bag snaps together here, which is gonna be a deterrent. None of these are gonna keep somebody who very much wants to get in your bag, in your bag, but it's gonna deter people. So you have that. You see how I have two zippers that come close together, the double zips? Remember that. I bought these, our S-hook carabiners. Uh, why I had to buy a pack of 20, I don't know, because that's all that I could find. But they did come in different colors, which is nice. So you can hook it on this side, hook it on that side, and you put it, you lock your zipper. One piece of your zipper here, one over here. You, if you want to get in and out, you just lower that, right? You just compress. And you yourself can get in and out. But somebody trying to steal your purse can't. So if you have a crossbody bag or a backpack, it's a little tiny lock that is so innocuous but does so many wonderful things just to deter theft. And if you're sleeping on an airplane, you know, you're traveling by yourself, you've got your personal item, you fall asleep, I'm putting one of these on my zippers and then if somebody is trying to get into my bag, I'm going to know before they get those locks off because they're not going to know how to operate them. I do. I mean, they probably do. but So that was my first safety purchase. My second one is this. I think I'm gonna let my cousin use it because I have a crossbody, but this is a, it's a bag that goes under your shirt. So you wear it close to your body. It does have a compartment back here that you can put something in. It is padded. The big thing is it's RFID. So people who are trying to steal credit cards with a computer, like a scanning wand, it's RFID protected. It also has a pocket that would hold a cell phone, some money. It's not holding a lot, but it's holding, if you have to have your passport with you, it's holding your passport, your phone, your money. Just some small things, but you wear it up under your clothing to protect you. So I probably will let my cousin use this since his wife and I have all the bags. So I'll see if he wants to use it, but it was like $7 and it's definitely worth it even for peace of mind or quite frankly, it's worth it for the RFID. Put your money, your credit cards in it, and you can slide it down in your backpack, and it will keep that technology from stealing your credit card information. So there's that. And then the last thing I purchased, which I can't show you in action because, well, you're on my phone, but this is a phone leash. Basically, it's elastic cord. It's like a bolero style. You can wear it around your neck. You can wear it crossbody. What I will do is hold on to it while my phone is up on my tripod and I am filming. This piece here, this piece, or there's a black one. It doesn't matter which one you wanna use. You take your phone case off, put this on the bottom of your case, snap your case back on. It's not in the way of your charger, but again, it's a deterrent. So now if somebody tries to snatch your phone out of your hand and this is here, they're not going very far, right? They're not going anywhere because my phone is attached. They also have them in wristlets, which I wanna look at as well. So if I'm carrying my phone using Google Maps or something, it's a, snapped around my wrist. If somebody drives by me, cause that's what is happening. They're on scooters, they drive by and snatch your phone. It's attached. I'm not letting go of my phone. And again, these are not going to stop somebody who really, really, really wants your items, but it is a deterrent and it is a form of protection. So these are easy to get, they're inexpensive. If you want the black one, this one's softer. I looked at some that were metal, but it makes me nervous that it's gonna scratch my phone. So I would prefer to have a plastic or this like velvety one, but I don't feel like this velvety one 
is as secure as this one with the grommet. So I will be using this clear one. You can also order just these little pieces that go into your phone case. And then if you have your own lanyard, you just hook your own lanyard onto it. So that is everything I have right now for my Amazon must have list. I don't know how many items I covered. You'll know by the title because I'll tell you and I'll count them as I'm going through the video and editing. I hope you enjoyed these travel series. I have a couple more planned. I have a piece of luggage coming that we're going to review. If you want a better look at this Lavouk backpack, let me know. Um, this one here was under $20. Some of them are upwards of $40, but they're all very reasonably priced. Just kind of depending on what the look you're going for and what happens to be on sale. Look, it even has this little tiny... Oh, I didn't show you the best part. There's a secret compartment back, or one of the better parts, here that if you need to hide something or easy access to your passport or something, you can put it in here. It's gonna be on your back. Nobody's gonna get to it. Um, and the elastic. So let me know if you'd like a review of that on its own. It did come also with a dust, a dust cover. All right, guys, that is everything I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.